Hello, one and all. Welcome back to the Gaming Blender. This is the podcast, as you know, of hypothetical games. And I'm here, as always, with my partner in crime, Matthew. Hello, Matthew. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very, very well. I'm, I'm, I feel twitchy because you're hosting today and I just want to yes. jump in all the time. Yes. Listeners, I am back in command, as, <laughs> as I know you have been pining after for so very long. They were rioting um, in the street. They, it's, it's, they were. Uh, yeah, all, all, all the strikes that are happening in the UK at the moment, n- none of that is for is for what, what is publicised in the newspaper. It's all because I'm not not currently hosting, although I am currently hosting this, this particular one. Um, so, uh, Matthew, how are you? I'm I'm well, thank you, Scott. The year is wrapping up. This is our Christmas episode. This will be coming out on the 20th yes. of December, I believe. So, Good God. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 indeed. Um, on that note, Con, as we are approaching the end of the year, what has been your game of the year? So do you mean by Game of the Year, do you reckon, because obviously we know Elden Ring and God of War recently swept all awards, do you mean Game of the Year, what I've yeah, played yeah, most sure. and, and enjoyed the most this year? What, done... what have you played and enjoyed most? It doesn't have to be something from this particular year. So I, re- no, this is a bit controversial because I have literally, in the last 15 minutes, deleted the game out of rage on my laptop. Um, Interesting. Well, not, not rage, not rage, just like this is, your time is done. Um, it was actually Sea of Thieves. Ah, Sea of Thieves. Ah, uh, it's gone, has it? It's not quite gone. I haven't worked out how to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it's not. It's installed somewhere on your computer, but you're not. Quite yeah, sure I'm yet. trying to get rid of it. It's it's just a bit. I the reason I said Sea of Thieves, we played it earlier as a duo, and I've never felt such highs of like gaming. This is what the enjoyment mm. of gaming, especially co-op, is where we were sailing around together. And, oh, my God, there's a ship. Scott, can you? And then I was like, handbrake turn. And we had our little yes. rolls. I had the cannon. You were steering. And we all worked really well. Unfortunately, it just fell away with the mission design, which was just bizarre. And then also, unfortunately, we yeah. discovered other players were picking on us at some stage. So, like the good sportsman we are, we quit and ran away. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, you know, we are the sort of people, listeners, who, when... When uh, when faced with the choice of being the good guys or the bad guys, unfortunately, we always pick the good guys um, because we're boring. Um, I, would, wouldn't you say that's probably fair? I would say that's fair. We always go good and we yeah. kind of expect other people to go good as well. And we, we generally find yes. out that they don't. And we got I think, massacred. Yes, I think going into it. Oh, no, 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 no. There was that one time we did beat someone. There was. And it was um, very funny. And then I felt guilty because I have become the very thing I sought to destroy. Yes, yeah, no, you did. Um, it was a little bit Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> um, but um, I, I I did, as I would agree with you, I very much enjoyed it. I loved the idea of it. Um, I just think I went in with sort of roast into glasses of, of we'd go past other players and we'd and we'd wave at them as as they were off on their own <laughs> on their own quest to find treasure and they'd wave back at us. But in fact, it's more sort of people firing chain shot at you. <laughs> hello, um, hello. Which, Where's my hand yeah. gone? Yes. Oh my God, the master's gone. Um, which, which ought to, ought to be, yeah, to be fair, can be quite fun. It can also be very annoying. I do remember we had that one couple of players that just kept following. I was remember that you stood on the back of the ship with the megaphone on, which allows, if you haven't played CFEs, it allows you your voice to be heard further by other players. And you said, "Would you mind yeah. awfully leaving? Would you mind awfully going away?" Yes. Well, you, um, you said that I, I in slightly used, yeah, different words. Yeah, I, I may have used slightly fruitier language. Uh, um, um, they came up to us, eventually yes. boarded us, and went, "We're here to inspect contraband." And we went, "This is a game that you're essentially yes, your poli- what? Go away." I mean, I appreciate everybody go has their own there. fun, but they they completely ra- like. Um, sideballed our game for about 20 minutes while we were just trying to sail away from them. And both it was both annoying. ships had exactly the same speed, so it was just the world's worst drag race. Yeah, it was um, it was bizarre. But yes, no, I did, for, while we played it, I did I did enjoy it. Um, but um, you've actually just reminded me that it's still installed on my computer, <laughs> so I'm going to now try and figure out a way to uninstall it. What would be um, your game? What is, what is your wondrous game of this year what have you loved i know you're halfway through the original god of war which you're loving i am i've, I've literally just stopped um literally just stopped playing yeah we were we, meant to record began, 15 began minutes to... ago weren't we scott yes we were i got i got distracted um i got the guy's the guy's head um and oh you know, um what's his oh around. god his name's escaping me M- 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 yes i i i've wandered around his head um and he's now he's he's now alive and talking again um, so, um, spoiler for anyone who hasn't played it yet. Um, so, 
So yeah, yeah, but again, I haven't. I don't think I've played it enough. No, it doesn't qualify. That, that is no, that is my favourite. Um, so I very much enjoy Warhammer Three, but I would argue that mm, I, you know, it was a bit of an open goal, really. Yes, in that I played Warhammer One and Two and loved both of them, and proceeded to love. Yes, Warhammer it's. 3. Uh, I love donuts. Here's a third donut. Mmm. It, it. Yeah, it very much was. It, it wasn't. It. You know, it didn't take much imagination. Should we say you? You do like the um, dwarven. Um, Dwarven game with name of which escapes me again because I can't remember any names. Uh, it's called something rock. Uh, is it? Oh no! Come on, we've forgotten oh, the name no. of the game that we like. <laughs> um, is it? Is it? It's called like Galactic Rock something. Yes. Galactic... Let's call it Keith. Oh, oh, bums! What's it called? Um, anyway. Listeners, there is a game <laughs> where where you play where you play as essentially you can play up to four four players as 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 sort of sci fi mining dwarves and you get put down in this asteroid and you have got to fight lots of aliens and mine ore and stuff. It's very very fun, um, but unfortunately we can't remember the name. Dwarven of it, Rock Galactic. Which is... Dwarven Rock Galactic. Yeah, Doesn't sound quite on. right. Are we going to Google it? I can hear your mouth. Deep Rock can... Galactic. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so Deep Rock. listen, oh. it's called Deep Rock Galactic, which I believe is the name of the fictitious sci-fi mining company that you're part of. Um, and you get deployed down into this asteroid to um, do lots of things. Do you, know, do you know what, Matthew? I'm going to go with that as my favourite game because I have very much enjoyed that for the very small outlay that we paid for it. Um, it has been actually very fun and excellent. Yes, by believe- very small outlay, you mean it was free on PlayStation Plus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I do believe it's overwhelmingly positively reviewed pretty much everywhere. Definitely get, definitely um, go and check that out. Anyway, Mr. Hostess with the Mostess. Um, oh, yes. We are seven minutes in and yet to, yet to really kick off. Sorry, am I, am I meant to be doing something else? Um, well, I, we we no, had, no, no, had no, a lovely no, chat, you, but we, time is ticking away. You're quite right. You're quite right. We did this in the last episode. But then what I, what I feel like I'm is because we're still making up for the fact we didn't do that episode. <laughs> um, so we need to give the, we need to give the listeners more. Um, but you're absolutely right. So we will begin. For any new listeners, the, uh, the Gaming Blender is a hypothetical uh, gaming podcast in which during the, well, the, the time of our episode seems to, um, seems to change for each It's meant episode. to be half but an hour, but we've the, been fluffy the amount of time, the amount of time that this episode will take, uh, we will create a, uh, a brand new uh, hypothetical video game. What we will do is we'll take a number of genres... Uh, take a number of mechanics, a narrative, and maybe some themes. And we'll blend them together and form some sort of absolute loveliness from it. Nom, 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 nom. Um, so, Matthew, what I would like you to do, please, and I know you know the drill, but I'm going to explain it anyway, is choose a number for between 1 and 18, which will define what genre we are going to be working with. What would you like to go for? I think, sir, I'm going to go for number 15. Interesting. Would you like to know what it is? Let's go with no. <laughs> okay. Let's... It's an interesting one. Okay. Uh, but, uh, okay, so yes, walk As I this, wrote the to... list... Yes? I'm going to... It's going to be one of these ones where it sort of dawns upon me that I've become my own worst enemy. Did, did you just yes. say walking simulator there and I just sort of skirted around it? Uh, well, as in which one did you choose? Yes, I thought you said walking simulator there, so I was like, oh, no. I'm going to break it to you, Colm. You have chosen walking simulator. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> but anyway, uh, well, so walking game simulator mechanics. for the background for anyone. It's ones that are specifically narrative, narrative driven. Generally, are low on gameplay um, because mm-hmm. your the focus is on the plot, which makes it even harder when I pick two mechanics now, isn't it, Scott? Correct. What two mechanics would you like between numbers one and thirty six? Let's go with. <laughs> let's go with the Taylor Swift of twenty two. And then that's uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're not laughing at my joke there. I know that. And then let's go for. Well, you're thirty now, aren't you, Scott? So we're going to go with thirty. Thank you for that. <laughs> yes, I am now thirty. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, I'm tempted not to help you at all with this one. Oh. Um, so you have chosen, obviously, number fifteen, a walking simulator, with. Mechanics of a hardcore simulation, for example, farming simulator, oh. 
which is number 22. And number 30, Battle Royale. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm my goodness. Not, I'm not sure. Even, even with my uh, sort of averagely creative mind, I'm not sure if I could fit any of that in together. I think we can. They seem like three things that don't work together. But, however, listeners, don't worry. We will attempt it. So, do you have any ideas? So let's just go through this. So, Hardcore Simulator, you've got a load of these. I mean, you've got Train Driver, you've got Microsoft Flight Simulator, you've got even Lawnmower mm. Simulator exists now, which is something that really... Um, um, as, as we discovered the other day, Police Simulator. Oh, yeah, I want to give that a go. Yes, I want to try Police Simulator. Police Simulator. Um, and then Battle Royale, obviously, Hunger Games-esque or Battle, Roy- or Battle Royale-esque. Um, or, I suppose, the PUBG or Fortnite. So we're going to have to fit that all together. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to find something simulatory that we can knock people out of bit by bit. But then also including the walking simulator. So it can't be too intensive on gameplay. It has to be some... How do you do it? So if you have a walking simulator... Generally, you'd walk to areas and it reveal parts of the story. So in order to have Rattle Royale, you'd almost need it to be some sort of race against others to unlock that story by walking around the map. But then how do you plug yes. that in with hardcore simulation? Apart from maybe, is there a role you can think of, Scott, in life that you need to travel around for? Um, I mean, so, Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, so okay, made it sound like you actually had something in your back pocket, but no, you just said that. No, I know, I know, I know. I had, I did have a sort of idea. So, you, I mean, this would work if you were to make something really basic. Go on, like a like a running game. Okay, where you compete against other runners. Oh, I like that. Okay, so there's no, there's not much in the way of story. Okay, but say. Um, so there's a there's an there's an app you can get called Zwift. I'm not sure if you've heard. I haven't of it. heard of Zwift. Um, so Zwift is it's more for cyclists, but you can do it with running as well. And the idea is is that it allows um, so you put it on your on your iPad or other devices are available. Um, and what you do is you um, you cycle on your static bike indoors, and there's a, the, you have an avatar on the screen. Okay, and you're and you can compete in races against I know, other people. I know, also I know on what you're talking bikes. about. Yeah. It, um, uh, and I've done it for running, and it is, it is very, very fun. Um, it, it makes treadmill running a lot more entertaining because you're actually doing something. You're, you know, you're going somewhere, um, whereas obviously, you know, usually you're looking at a wall and not going anywhere. Um, okay, I have an so, idea you know, then. I have a. You could do something like that, but that's a bit boring. No, but there is a way you can expand on that. So when I was at, to use another app thing, when I was at university. Uh, many moons ago, when the wheel... I was about to say, this is a, this is a long time well, ago. Yes, when the right? wheel was still considered a neat idea. Um, yeah. There was an app that I used for running called Zombies Run. I don't know if you've heard of this, but essentially you'd go out I'm for not. a run and it it wove the plot in because it was it was a post-apocalyptic world and you'd like you were listening to an audiobook and you were the runner that they were sending out on scavenging missions. So okay. you quite literally were having... You were playing your part in the audiobook and it even had a little mode that zombies would get onto your tail and you'd have to go 10% quicker. Nice. And if you didn't go 10% quicker, you'd fail that mission. You have to restart, which I always thought was nice. And then it scared me. So I turned it off. Um, of course it which did. Is, it's quite freaky when you're running along, just hear zombie noises and they sort of gain on you in your ears. It's kind of creepy because then you're just, I'm running around Birmingham, just like crying. <laughs> yeah. And I can imagine given your dislike of zombies, you actually probably were crying. You know, just running through the middle um, of Broad Street. Going, they're catching me. They're catching me. Um, and you probably did as well. But you, what you could do is you could build on this by the, the Battle Royale thing. You could have some something where the walking simulator, there is literally no additional um, gameplay mechanics apart from the running. So you are running away from something. So we keep, in order to keep the mechanics minimal and we make it so it's hardcore simulation. So your character has X amount of lung capacity. He has lactic acid build up. That like, We get very specific into the mechanics of running. Like you need to take breaks and stuff like that. Or you need to stretch in order to avoid pulling muscles. And the whole time, mm-hmm. the gameplay element is that the battle royale is something is catching up with you. Something is chasing you. And uh, uh, Yeah, I, I was about to suggest this. Perhaps we make it somewhere... It's it's a bit not 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 sort of a bit like in um, have you seen Apocalypto? No, I haven't. That's the Mel Gibson one, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's the one where they it's it's kind of set in 
sort of, I can't remember if it's the Aztecs or the Mayans. It's one of, one of the Central American societies way back when. And they essentially capture a load of prisoners. And, they, you know, at the beginning, they sort of set them off. And the whole thing is that they just they, they just get hunted down. Um, it's kind of just obviously for sport. Yeah. Um, and so maybe you could do something like that where you're, you know, you're, you're, yeah, like you said, you're being hunted by something. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be animals. It could. Well, be... I feel like we could build on that when we, when we get into the plot bit. But yeah, something is chasing it. But you could do some really cool things with the um, reactive triggers on the PS5. As you as you get more and more tired, they get tougher because you could use R2 and L2 to run literally step by step. Mm-hmm. And then as each yep. step, as your lactic acid builds up, they, it gets harder to pull those triggers. And then you have a little, maybe, maybe a diagram of yourself in the bottom left-hand corner and you can see X amount of lactic acid has built up. So you need to take a X amount of rest. And as you level mm. and say... I suppose you couldn't really level up your character, could you? Because if it's a battle royale, you need to keep it fair across the board. So it would just be that you playing the game better, knowing when to run, when to walk, when to rest, and you could take. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe you could do something where uh, they're all they're all they're all elements that definitely you could build in, and I think would be a really good idea. Perhaps you could do it. So, so battle royale to me insinuates sort of Hunger Gamesy. You know, the, you you're in a you know there's there's set sort of bound not 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 necessarily boundaries but there's a there's a there's a goal okay so normally battle royale would be you know gladiatorial type sort of stuff in this sort of scenario could you do a a sort of a okay so you're you're plonked on a bit like in hunger games you're plonked on a map yeah you've no idea where you are or what what the map looks like or whatever but you're told okay you need to get you know there's let's say there's 20 of you okay and you all Okay, need to get to this point over there as fast as possible. Okay, so let's say it's twenty miles in that direction. So you'd rather you'd rather have an end point than a last person standing scenario because what I envisage is a very not not thin but a sort of long and narrow map where you could have multiple ways of getting somewhere and it just kept going and you had places you could shelter, places you could hide, and it was just last person that doesn't get so caught you, so by you, this thing. You, so you can still you can still have all that. You still have all that. <laughs> Thank you. But what you do is you just say you just. <laughs> Now, what I mean is what you can just say is there is, okay, th- you know, one person will get rescued at the end. So only one person is the first person that gets there. Okay. Right. And you could say, you could say something like, um, you know, it could be a helicopter or a boat or some, you know, whatever it ends up being. Okay. Only has room for one person. So one person gets away. The rest of you will die here, whether that's on the way there um, before you even get there, or stood at, stood at the dock, going, "Damn it, I came second. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, and you could, you could have the, you could have it. It could be, you could do it on so many different terrains. You could do the jungle. You could do mountains. You could do desert. That's cool. Um, yeah, you could have different and you, maps, and you could, you could have different maps, and you could have different creatures, different people. You know, wh- whatever you want, whoever you wanted to be hunting you. So then, you as the player have to figure out right okay so let's say it's the let's say it's the desert okay let's say it's somewhere somewhere like jordan where you've got you've got deserts and you've got rocky bits so you could say right okay the fastest way in my mind is straight across the desert however if i do that they're going to see me and they're going to kill me so therefore do i take the long way around and go through all the rocks so then i can hide take a bit longer but be alive when i get there that's so good. Get, i think get, one thing we've got to say I mean? to be true to the walking simulator nature of it is that there can, we can't give any other mechanics apart from the running mechanics themselves, the sort of hydrating, the no, yeah, so, no, and no yeah. fighting so mechanics. What? The other players can't kill no, you. No. It's literally just you trying to get to the end point as quickly as possible. Yes, exactly, exactly. And and because yeah, because you don't you don't have to have if you make the maps, you know, if you procedurally generate the maps big enough, which is you know more you know easy easy to do. Then many game designers you know, just curl, curled over and died. Oh, no, no, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's easy. Maybe it might not might not be easy to do, but they 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 make it look easy. No. Okay, there we ah, go. See, I've, well I've, done. Com- I've complimented them. Ha 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 ha. So you know, it, you know, it, it definitely could and can be done. I think in a very good way. Okay. Um, with all those sort of mechanics. Um, I, I, I think we've, we fleshed something out of that after the horror of the reveal. 
Um, I think I think walking build simulators in always some sort of to plug, narrative. To plug the mechanics into. Sorry for cutting you off there, but I think no, you always right. have to stretch it slightly, but keep that core element of you are traveling in a direction, and the story will naturally, even naturally, reveal itself, or you kind of make it, make it, put it together yourself. Um, yes. Which I think we can still do, and I think revealing the story now, as you're about to do, sir. Yes. So, listen. Uh, now we will put a generic plot on top of it and sort of flesh out exactly why 20 unlucky souls are running across the desert being chased by miscellaneous animals and angry people. Um, so, what you're going to choose, Matthew, is anywhere from or uh, 1 from one to 19. What would you like to go for? Uh, okay, let's go with the classic song, When I Was 17... Discovery. Ooh. You know those secrets you've buried deep in your past. This story digs around, exposes secrets, and watches them affect the characters. Interesting. Mm. So, what are we mm. saying that the discovery is the maybe the thing that they're finding that they then run away from? Maybe. So, could you Dug could you build deep. in that? Could you build in something where it's like okay? Uh, it's not just it's not just a race to get somewhere. It's a race to retrieve something and get somewhere. Can I just plug something in? And I don't want our game to be this, but the thought <laughs> just occurred to me, and I just I just yes. thought it'd be hilarious. Imagine a game, and I know the Moria game is coming out early next year. Imagine yes. playing the game of escaping Moria as a dwarf. So kind of this, but like imagine just 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 finding all the goblins and going. Oh, we better get out of here. That would be cool. I'm not suggesting it for us that- because it's slightly different, but. I just suddenly thought that'd be a great idea. Thank you for that share. (laughs) Um, Moving back to the point of the podcast, um, rather than... This isn't a podcast of Matthew's random thoughts. (laughs) Anyway, Um, butter. As much as I'm sure we'd all enjoy that. So, so, yes. So, I'll I'll say my point again, so then maybe you register it this time. Um, which (laughs) Which was, what if we did it where it's a, it's a, almost like a, it's not to put it too simply, but a almost a, a a fetch and retrieve type thing where it's okay. You all get put in this thing. There's a there's a hidden temple that re, that contains an idol or other such things. Not too Indiana Jonesy. Your job is to go and get it, and then get to where you're going to. So there's you could you could do something. So like are that. you saying so there's you twenty to. of the things? So everybody just gets one and then runs with it. No, there is one. Yeah, but then then how do you get the thing off? Your, oh, yeah, valid point. so I, I think what okay. I think if you have something, that, maybe then. what you could do is is have like a meteorite's crashed in a certain location. They want to get a cert, they want to get evidence or resources from it, or whatever it is. So you all go and harvest it as a group. Then when you start harvesting it, is when it sort of deteriorates and a big sludge substance forms, which starts spreading quickly. And then that's what called that's what you're running away from that infection. You're running away from sludge. It's kind of, kind of. I'm trying to think like, you know like that, the blob. You know that sludge by its very nature doesn't move very well, have fast. You ever, have you ever seen the old The Blob films? Yes. Well, they're kind of like that, just an expanding mass of things and you've got to get evacuated in time. Yes. <laughs> well, I just think it'd be, it's a good one because if you're going to harvest something, then it makes sense that, you, one, all your players aren't attacking each other trying to get this extraction, and two, that it makes sense that everybody's already got the item. Why would there only be one? Why can only one person escape? A uh, very small helicopter. They they yeah. only had the money to hire one. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> you have the you have these ideas, and then because it's so a video many, game. I think I think it's about four or five times now. I've gone. What about this? And you've gone. Oh, yeah. That's a good point, actually. Well, I, I, I think what I'm work. struggling with is how do you get a material... Because those two ideas are incompatible, aren't they? Only one person being able to escape, but yet having to pick up one thing. I'm just trying to think, unless it's discovery about yourself. So could it be, could it be something about... Um, okay, how about... How about you all... All the people who get put in there don't know who they are. Yep. Okay, and throughout the journey, um, you can try and piece together who you are and who everyone else is, and then it turns out you're all, I don't know, you're all related, or you all, I don't know, work in the same IT department, or I don't know. 
So why are they only extracting you know I mean? one person? Because you only get because because the, because the game the game that is created by these evil people is that only one person gets out. Right. Okay. So we are we are going down the Hunger Games esque route of this being a a predetermined game, uh, rather than a natural everybody get out of this situation. Or maybe you learn maybe you learn more about the people that are doing this to you. So maybe it's you can find out bits and pieces about, you know, who they are and why they're doing what they're doing. Yeah. You know, a bit like in a bit like in Squid Game. True. Uh, yeah, they, true. They, they start sort of figuring out what's going on. I think what you also could do, I, I like the idea just rewinding slightly of you running away from something rather than, rather than what I suggested, ra- rather than a big <sighs> mass or a fog or whatever. I like the idea of just animals, for example, or, I don't know, an ancient tribe being in the area that is would be the dead zone so essentially you don't immediately die when you're in the dead zone but you just know you're now surrounded by hostiles you're going to have to outrun i like that idea because Mm. it adds a certain um fear element that's that's not in lots of battle royale games so it'd be right because in battle royale games now now you're like oh i'm in the dead zone i need to get out but it's more interesting to think i'm in the dead zone if i'm very quiet i might still be able to get out unscathed but i think that adds Mm. an interesting dynamic it's just then how do we what how do we Get, what what you could do actually, Scott, is you could learn, you could find be sent in to various locations to research. Like well, you could get told something bogus. Essentially, you could get told something by this big PMC because it's always a PMC in these games. He said, "Go and we've heard there's a new tribe. Um, go and investigate them." And whenever you get out, get to them, it turns out they're incredibly hostile, or there's a reason for them being hostile towards you. Say they. The, the PMC had already attacked them in the past. So you have to evacuate. And when you evacuate, the PMC only wants to take one of you because it's much easier to look after only one witness, they could say. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, potentially. Ah, okay, and I, I've, I've had a... Had a, had a um, I was about to say something else, but I, I, I completely lost the words. But I found them again. So, what if... Okay, uh, so... Battle Royale doesn't necessarily have to mean that one person gets out gets out alive. True. Normally, normally it does. But in this case, what if? Okay, so what if? What if we take the scenario where okay, new tribe of people. Yep. Okay, we've, we've just we've just discovered them. They've been lost for thousands of years. We need to know as much about them as possible. Or as we like to call okay, them in so, the UK, Slough. Yes, um, dreadful place. <laughs> um, sorry if you're from Slough. Uh, so, what if it's a okay? Right. Yes, we need you to go in there. Um, and um, and you know m- m- maybe it's maybe it's lots of different um, maybe it's lots of different companies who are all competing to find out find out what, oh, okay. what these people so you, uh, are like or, or or know or whatever um, and maybe I don't know but then how do you I like the idea of competing yeah, companies no, no, ma- ma- yeah ma- ma- maybe it's not maybe maybe there are lots of different extraction points. Okay, from each company has its own distra- extraction point and its own person. So actually, you're not you're not necessarily competing against you're not competing against people in terms of time. Maybe you're competing against people in terms of number one staying alive and number two getting as much information as possible. So say for example, if one person from one company decides, right, okay, all I'm going to do is try and survive. So they go in, they get one piece of information, yeah, okay, and then they get out, and then and then they're fine. And then the longer that you stay in there, the more likely it is that you're going to die because the more people are trying to hunt you. Yes. But that gives you more time to get more information. Do you see what I mean? So then, so then at the end, you're then competing for um, whether you survived and how much information you got. Right. Okay. So it, it kind. Of, Do you see what yeah, I mean? So you like get a time bonus of whatever, and then an information bonus, and that competes for your total score. So just being the first out might not necessarily mean you are the winner. So you've got to get that risk and reward. Yes. Okay. Yes. So we are and, we uh, are uh, spinning on the battle royale slightly, but I like I like it. It makes it more original. Are we doing this as a multiplayer? Game? Yes. So this I reckon this has to be yes. online. Yeah. No. I I I would agree. Um, and I think that sort of that sort of works. I think. That, do you want to do the would summary? Let's, 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 let's listen. I'll listen to the summary like a good little co-host, and I'll what well, and and see and see if it and see if it makes yeah, let's sense. Let's go for it. Okay. So. This is what we've. Oh, I need to remember it now. <laughs> have we not so been making notes? What, 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 so what we what we uh, what we have come up with is a a walking simulator uh, with mechanics of hardcore simulation, battle royale, and a narrative of discovery. 
Uh, and what the game is going to be, a multiplayer game, um, where players um, are tasked as a um, as an employee of a of a certain you know, research company or PMC. Perhaps there'll be there'll be different different types of companies you could work for, um, charitable organisations, all that sort of stuff. Uh, where a, a new tribe has been has been discovered, perhaps in the Amazon or Papua New Guinea or somewhere like that. Um, and um, and these these players are all get all popped into whatever environment it may be. It could be it could be the jungle, it could be the mountains, it could be anything. Um, and your job as individual players is to is to get into you know to where where this where this tribe lives into their habitat and uh, glean as much information about them as possible as you can study you study where they live and, and how they how they hunt and how and you know how they live how they raise their children all that sort of stuff and as much information as you get you can get as possible however the more time that you spend in that environment the higher the likelihood that they are going to kill you um you know they, they might start they might start hunting you initially trying to figure out who you are and then after a while they'll, they'll just start coming at you um there is only one way uh there'll only be one way for each player to get out and that's by sort of a you know helicopter transport type thing that's put on by uh by their by their own company so you're competing against other players to number one not die and number two, glean as much information about this tribe as possible. And at the end, obviously, the scores are totted up. And obviously, if you're dead, you're dead. And if you survive, it's whether you've managed to outperform the other players or not. And I think there should be an element where if you die, you get to watch other people try and complete their mission and also then die, because that would be quite funny. <laughs> um so that's 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 a sort of the summary. Does that does that seem to have covered everything? Matthew? I think that's covered. Have I done that I mean, all we, right? We, we obviously had good? all the complex running mechanics. <clears throat> pardon me, that we did earlier. Oh yeah, sorry. Yes, and there's some running, <laughs> which is the simulation part. It is the yes. So I, I think that all works together. I think we just need to name it now. Yes. Um, uh, any ideas? Tribal. Tribal. Because it sort of dictates yeah. the challenges as well. The fact that it's a tribal challenges of running and escaping and quite quite primitive. I think it's on the right lines. I'm not sure if it's exactly right, but I think the tribal idea is a good okay, one. Okay, tribe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> could be, Triangle. yes. Try, yes. Something, something that starts with try. Um, hmm. I mean, you could do tribal, but tribal to me insinuates that you're part of a tribe. True, true. Um, the Lost hmm. Cities. Yeah, but they're not really in a city, are they? Well, the Lost Tent. The, pro- pro- the Lost... <laughs> Three Man. The Lost Bivouac. The Lost Bivouac. Um, no, that's an interesting one. I mean, you could just go to just call it The Lost Tribe. Escape from Paradise. That sounds a little bit like The Beach. <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry, I'm dying. Um, not Escape from Paradise, then. Maybe something along the lines of... Extract <laughs> information and then extract. <laughs> Extraction. Extraction's not um, terrible, to be fair. Although I feel like someone's done it before. No, that's very true. Um, what about secrets of the tribe? Yeah, secrets of the tribe. Secret. Secrets of the tribe. I, I think so. It just Does that it work? kind of. Yeah, it just doesn't really point towards the sort of whole main gameplay loop, which is the running away, the jumping, and the getting out of there. <laughs> I mean, do we just call it something simulated, like all simulated No, no, because it's not... Well, no, no, one, no one's ever got Microsoft Flight Simulator and gone, I really hope this lands me in a jungle so I can get escape from a tribe. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. Tribes and um, tribulations. I mean, if we can find the jungle, we could just call it the jungle. Temple run. <laughs> Temple run. Um, Temple yeah, no, run. I, th- I think something... I, I, I don't mind um, Secrets of the Tribe. I just think it just needs a little bit of pepping Secret. What about tribal? What about tribal secrets? Well, you could call it escape secrets of the tribe, but that gets a bit tribal. Yeah, tribal secrets. Escape from the tribe. <laughs> We're just doing loops now. <laughs> Should we just go with escape from the tribe? We'll go escape from the tribe. Okay, so listeners, that was escape from the tribe. We managed to do it despite having an interesting selection um, of genres. Genre and mechanics on this occasion. But I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Matthew, did you enjoy that? I enjoyed that? it very much. I think we did amazingly. Amazingly. I think I think we did very well, given what we... the sandwich ingredients that we were given. 
Um, I think yeah, we so did. Yeah, so this was Subway. We, well. we made an error with the bread and the meat, and we saved it with the lettuce. Mm, mm, and vegetables. That's, that's very true. That's very true. But then, to be honest, this is the gaming blender. If it was all action adventures with, you know, the usual sort of stealth and survival, it would be boring. It would be boring. It would be. So... There you are, listeners, a very unique game that no one has ever thought of before. Um, and I hope you very much enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um, please give us uh, give us reviews um, on whichever app you receive your podcasts on. And um, please do uh, write to us on Twitter. Um, what's the address uh, again? We're at Gaming Blend Pod. That's the one. I, I apologize. I, I don't do Twitter. I let, I, I let my PA do all that. That's Matthew, by the way. <laughs> um, and, uh, and we will see you next time. Thank you well, very much for listening. In the most important thing, Scott, ha- yes. Merry Christmas and a Happy yes, New Year. Sorry. And we will see you all in, well, you will hear us all in 2023. So I forgot, have a good one. I forgot it was Christmas. Yes. Have a good one. Have a good Christmas. Please do. And, uh, and we will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. All oh, the weather outside looks frightful. Keep blending.